Welcome. In this program, we take time out to remember one of Alaska's most beloved first ladies, Irma Lee Hickel, who died just a few days after her 92nd birthday on September 11th. From a humble life to a governor's wife, the story of Irma Lee and Wally Hickel is a love story and a history lesson all rolled into one. You can still find the house Irma Lee Hickel grew up in, just off the downtown park strip. In your mind's eye, try to picture the gardens and cows that once grazed here, tended by the Struts family, where each of the six children were expected to work hard. When I was born, she was just a little, just not quite four, and she was the youngest of the four girls. Dick Strutt says it was Irma Lee's job to watch over him. She was like a second mom to me, and, and Irma and I have always been really close. Uh, just sweeter than my other sisters. You know, so. Older sisters who often pulled rank. She's the one in the middle, the little one. They were a more aggressive and opinionated, and Irma Lee was more quiet and reserved, and I think probably because she was smaller. Like, they all played basketball in high school. But Emily was too short. Small in stature, but big in ways that made her the perfect partner for the bold and brash Walter Hickel. They married not long after Wally lost his first wife, Janice, to a sudden illness, just after the birth of their baby boy, who Irma Lee raised as her own. In fact, it was something Janice said before she died that prompted Hickel to seek her out. He remembered that she had said that Irma Lee Strutz is a wonderful girl. Malcolm Roberts and his wife Cindy were close to the Hickels. He said, you're Irma Lee Strutz, aren't you? She said, yes, and you're Wally Hickel. And from then on, it was all over. Malcolm <laughs> met the two when President Richard Nixon named Walter Hickel Interior Secretary. This outing on horseback with Hickel was the start of a long ride for Malcolm, who served him as an aide until he died. A chance for both Malcolm and Cindy to see the private side of Irma Lee. Delicate as a butterfly and tough as a boot. I heard him say it many times. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he loved her very much. That's because Irma Lee set the stage for her husband's success. Probably most people didn't see that. They just saw Wally. But she was always kind of in the background. She knew she had a supporting role. That wasn't just a front. Her biggest job, to raise their six sons, which she did with remarkable skill through two governorships and her husband's stint as interior secretary. And this is Irma Lee. Yeah, she loved me. <laughs> <laughs> so she practiced motherhood on Must you. Must have. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she did. That's probably where she got so good at it, <laughs> practicing on me. Yeah. She was a sweetie. Strutt says it's her life here on what was once an Anchorage homestead, which made Irma Lee a model first lady and political partner. Your roots are in the ground. They're, they're firm. You know, nothing, nothing phony. There were chickens to feed, weeds to pull, and not far from the house on the shores of Cook Inlet, fish to catch in the family's set net. And I still have pictures in my mind of Irma Lee logging around that mud and just totally filthy, you know, picking fish. Despite all that, the family had a refinement and dignity. Always has a hat on, and she's short, you know. They became part of Irma Lee, a trait her brother didn't notice until a stranger pointed it out. It looks like the Queen of England. And I think that, that's about what she was like, you know, it's just she was regal, you know. She's a good girl. How do you get regal picking fish and... <laughs> I think that's how you get there. And here at the downtown Anchorage Cemetery, you'll find one of the clues to Irma Lee's character. Her husband, Wally, is buried right next to his first wife. And soon, Irma Lee will be laid to rest on the other side. Sure, she's his first wife, but it didn't ever bother Irm. <laughs> that's a big heart. Yeah, that's what I mean. I think that shows probably maybe more than anything else. Irma Lee will be buried standing upright, just like her husband, a final act of solidarity. Since Wally died, Irma Lee would say every once in a while, and in fact quite often, I just want to go and be with Wally. So when she had her birthday party on, on Monday, on the 11th, I remember just telling her, now you can go with Wally. <laughs> 